What's up, YouTubers? This video is dedicated to all the moms and dads out there and kids who want to start playing games on computers, personal computers, or if you like to game on Macs, good luck. <laughs> but no, this is to teach you what Steam is and where you can download all those games that are fun to play on the computer. So you can see here I visited where you can download and install Steam. You want to come here if you just look where I'm at now, a quick Google search can find you where to download and find Steam. So you just click on this first result you get from Steam download, it will redirect you here. And as you can see here, there's a lot of games you can access instantly. You can see some of the newer ones that have come out, all showcased here. There's communities where you can ask questions, share thoughts. Uh, you can also use the Steam hardware. You can work with dev teams to release your game on Steam as well. Lots of features and happy things for everyone. But what you need to do if you're getting that gift, right, of a Steam gift card for somebody who wants to play. This is a Steam gift card. They do sell these as well retail at Target, Best Buy, you know, Amazon. You can buy these gift cards. If they want to play games, give them the gift of Steam. And all they do is, you know, scratch off the, the code on the back and they apply that code to Steam to be able to buy games to play. So once you do install Steam, right, there's a shortcut here. Uh, but you click here once you've got Steam downloaded, you can see I've logged in, I've created an account on Steam. By default, it will launch the store on Steam where you can view all the games that are available for purchase and for playing. And there's lots of free games you can look for too, okay? You can also add games to a wish list, and I'll show you how to do that. So this is the Steam store. If we scroll on down, Okay, you'll see lots of games brought up. You can browse co-ops. Let's go look at co-ops, okay? These are all the winter sale co-op games that they have. Shotgun Farmers, Bigfoot, Command and Conquer, Human Fall Flat, Secret Neighbor, okay? All here. Uh, you can back up just by clicking back. You can go over, let's look at survival games, what they have. Oh, Bigfoot, Scrap Mechanic, Boris, Raft. Oh, that game is amazing. Among Us, okay? The Forest, Dead by Daylight, Far Cry 5. So look at all these games, they're all here. You'll see lots of sales going on during the holidays. But Steam is great. It's a great place to play games on your computer. So if you haven't already, go check it out. But essentially, you can click on a game. This looks like it's rated E for everyone. Uh, this is rated as an early access game. And you can see here, people do review the games that they play and purchase on Steam. If it says overwhelmingly positive, you can bet your bottom dollar that this game is loved and usually reviewed very well by everyone who's played it. If you want to know, is it single player? Is it multiplayer? You just scroll down on the Steam related title here and you can see this one is single player. It does involve Steam achievements. It does give you and reward you with trading cards, digital ones. Uh, it does include a level editor if you like to build the levels. And it does allow, look, remote play on phone, remote play on tablet. So some of these games are available on mobile devices as well. That should be said. Now, what should we do if we want to look at the store? You just click on this tab here, okay? Lots of games on Steam. If you want to see what games you have access to play for free or that you've purchased, you click on the library tab, and these are all the games that I own. Okay, these are all the games that I have. These are games I've purchased, like Hades. Among Us was $5 on Steam. I recently got Subnautica for my kids and Gang Beasts. Trailmakers, Raft, Witchet, There Is No Game, Ultimate Chicken Horse. If you want to see more titles, you just click the right arrow and they're all here, right? Counter Strike, Team Fortress, Teardown, Hello Neighbor, Fall Guys, Kill with Fire, Destiny 2. But all of your games that you have or that you have downloaded will show on your library. Games that you do not own that you can still go get and purchase are located on the store tab. But what I'd like to do now is redeem a card that I got, okay? This is a Christmas gift that my family sent for my son. So he wants to get a game. So how do we do that? Get the card, scratch off the code, and now I'll show you what it's like to apply the code. Okay, so let's do that now. We see here under games, it says redeem a Steam wallet code. I think that's what we want. If I look at this, it's a Steam gift card, right, 20 bucks. And it says here, input your Steam wallet code to add funds to your Steam wallet. So to redeem codes, yes, you need to log in and activate your account first. I'm logged in as gamer time, so I can now apply this code. It looks like it's four, eight, 12 characters long. So mine happens to be, oh, and let's put it all in caps so that we don't make mistakes. OK, 
Okay, once it's all in, let's push continue and see if that works. Success! Woo -woo. So I put in the code that you scratch off the back of your... Whoa, can you see this? Oh, that's really hard to see. Ah, it's too bright. But you'll have a code, okay, that you scratch off down here on the back of your Steam gift card. So do that, scratch off the code, and then you apply it in a place called redeem a Steam gift card or wallet code. And once you've done that, just push X, okay? And it shows my Steam account wallet balance is 20 bucks, which is, is verified. This is a $20 Steam gift card. So make sure that you can verify the amount once you've plugged it in. You may want to keep your receipt to make sure it goes through smoothly. But that's all you do. And once you want to purchase a game, you simply go to the store, okay? And this is what you'll do when you want to buy it. Say, my son really wants this game that he's talked to me about. It's on the wish list. So if you find a game like Sea of Thieves and you'd like to add it to your wish list, you click through and there's a place I think right here that says add to your wish list. It's now been added. You'll see a check mark. Item added to your wish list. And what's lovely about Steam is they'll have a, usually video previews here and even screenshots that you can click on. So if I want to see Sea of Thieves, I click on this to expand. You need to know about Sea of Thieves. And you unmute the volume. Okay, and it's teaching me everything I want to know about Sea of Thieves. And that's all you do if you want to preview the game, how it looks. You can watch and these sea videos of here. Okay, you don't have to. You can go down more and you can read on, you know, all the details for how the game plays. It's apparently gotten very positive reviews. It's T rated teen for violence, use of alcohol, crude humor. Uh, but all that you'd need as a parent to know and preview a game before you purchase it or a gift card for someone is here. Okay, you can preview games. Now, if you want to look at what's on their wish list, you need to log in as that user. And you can see here, these are all the games that my kids have added to their wish list. And I've added Half-Life Alex to my wish list. That's a game I have on my radar. It's still a bit too expensive for me right now, 45 bucks. So I'm waiting for that to come down in price. Probably a year after a title comes out, you'll see huge discounts, okay? As you see, Doom Eternal came out March 19, and in just nine months, it's dropped from 60 bucks to 20. So that's kind of the sweet spot. If you wait nine months to a year, you can get games at a great discount. So I'm waiting till Doom Eternal drops even, you know, to a year, a year low, probably a 15 next March. But here they are. You can see my kids. They've added games like Amazing Frog, Tabs, Bigfoot, Shotgun Farmers, Ramen, uh, Sea of Thieves I just added. Hello Neighbor 2 says it's coming soon. It's not out yet. If I click on that for more information, it just says release date 2021. We don't know when that's coming, do we? Uh, but that's how I like to, to just scout games on the store. I'll just add them to my wish list, and then I look for big savings here, right? Command & Conquer 3 has been out for already 11 years, and it's $5, okay? Originally it was 20 uh, Very positive reviews. I usually look for games that have overwhelmingly positive reviews. If you're on the fence about a game, look at that, okay? Will you just look at it? Okay, look at that. Overwhelmingly positive. 50,000 user reviews, 98% of those have been positive. But essentially, that's how you redeem a gift card on Steam. That's where you download Steam. That's how you navigate Steam. That's how you redeem and purchase and wish list a game on Steam. So happy Steam Day. It's New Year's Eve. Uh, this is the time to start redeeming your gift cards and shopping, okay, if you haven't already. But I highly recommend Steam for any PC and Mac users to get games. Uh, it's very user-friendly. And it's, it's trustworthy. I haven't been hacked <laughs> using Steam uh, like you may have experienced on other sketchy websites. So Steam is verified. You can go there. Uh, but that's my video for the day. I think PC gaming is the master race. I've been a console gamer my whole life. But one thing to be said about PC is games are highly discounted. And they are now being blended and being able to play on mobile and tablet devices as well and Steam works on mobile gaming as well. So check it out. Nothing but positive things to say about Steam. I hope you have a happy holiday and I'll see y'all later. Thanks for tuning in, see ya.